Hi friends, hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to bring a video today about the wisdom tip. Uh, before I continue, kindly if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and also don't forget to, uh, to like, share and subscribe. So today, uh, please watch this video till the end because you might help a friend or even help yourself if you are affected by this wisdom more or less uh, uh, impactful. Uh, the wisdom more or less, these are set of intent more or less that we lay out at the back of your mouth. And the US come in in late teen years or in uh, early adulthood. And when the when time of eruption comes and they this seed get stuck under your gums or they lack enough room to break through the gums, they are considered impacted. These impacted that molars we are so prone to diseases, they are prone to tooth decay and even they are prone to other dental problems. Impacted molars often this wisdom teeth can cause discomfort and even potential complication complications if left untreated. So it's very very important to recognize the signs and the symptoms of infected wisdom molars to prevent complications. Many people have, uh, have gotten themselves in the problems after having the decay on those molars, assuming, continuing taking painkillers, taking uh, drugs, maybe antibiotics, and they have uh, been, uh, even others, hospitalized due to complications of these wisdom molars. I want to give you the signs and the symptoms that you can check uh, and notice that you have a, the impacted teeth and go for treatment immediately. Number one, for the persons affected, you will uh, feel a pain radiating from your jaw to your ear. Uh, and the other point is that you will uh, notice a um, bad taste or even a bad smell, smell when you brush. Uh, even after brushing, you will still feel a um, bad breath, a bad taste, because on that impacted wisdom molar, there are those food particles being trapped there, there are bacteria build up around that place. So please say uh, when you notice such thing, it's very important to go for treatment. The other thing, there is swelling. We will uh, feel those uh, the area are swollen. The area is bleeding. Maybe when even you chew food, you feel that uh, pain. Uh, it's very very important to check also on that. You might have. Uh, that impacted the tooth and even the tooth uh, might even have been decayed so please check on that before it gets burned and the other point you will face difficulty in opening your mouth wide due to discomfort notice swelling redness and even inflammation of the gum tissue surrounding the impacted wisdom tooth uh, causing visible swelling and redness around that area. That also is a sign that you will recognize or that you will uh, get when you have an impacted that molar. And the last point to check on is uh, you will feel a lot of pressure on your jaw, it's like the teeth are being pushed. Also that is a, a sign, uh, you should check on that. And when you get any of these signs, please go to the dental clinic so that a proper treatment plan can be done so that uh, that problem can be treated early. Those teeth are very difficult even to brush. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the nature of the growth. You might even 
you might not even recognize that you have impacted tools unless you start to get these signs. That's why I do emphasize on going for checkup. It's very, very important to go for checkups because this problem can be, no, be noticed earlier and it can be treated before complications arise. Thank you for watching. Kindly make sure you share and relate to friends uh, so that they can also benefit from the same. I will continue posting videos on uh, tips for proper oral hygiene and I always emphasize on, on a proper brushing technique and uh, today maybe I might show you the two methods that you can use to brush your teeth. Number one, I always emphasize on this method, circular motion. And I always emphasize on when we are brushing, it's good you start from here because when you don't start from here, you'll get a decay from this tooth. So it's always important to start from here. Then you can use a circular motion like this, angling your brush at an angle 45 degrees towards the gums because of the full gum gap is around the gum and teeth. So you can use this circular motion like this. Or you will go gently like this, at least two teeth at a time, all the way to this place. Then on the achieving surfaces, you will use forward and backward movement like that. And on the inside still, you will use the same method. You can use circular motion or you will go gently and on this place don't forget many people will forget the arterial plate part and get many cutlass or blood made up so don't forget this area like that and the other thing don't forget to brush your tongue uh, your tongue abuses of those bacteria that will cause bad breath and even cavities kindly don't forget to brush your tongue uh, you should at least when you pass your tongue like this you feel the teeth are smooth and brush in the morning and in the evening with a fluoride toothpaste uh, brushing and flossing at least floss once in a day maybe in the evening then brush and you sleep then um, I think that's all for today Kindly taking good care of your horror or of your mouth, you will have prevented so many diseases. You will have a good overall body health. Kindly please let emphasize on proper oral hygiene care tips for our gum and our teeth. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I will be teaching you on how to floss. I know that topic I have not handled it well, and I will handle it. I will teach you on how to floss so that you don't have the cavities in between your teeth. Thank you for watching. See you next time.